Hey guys, Gino here with my new review for the Jonghyun album Story Op 2. This is the sequel to Story Op 1. Uh, he also had an album called She Is, which came out uh, last year. I really enjoyed that. There was a couple of songs that I wasn't so keen on, but I did enjoy the song. The album. Jesus Christ, Gino. We're already getting stuff wrong. I believe this is his fourth solo album as of this minute, which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's get into this starting at track number one, Lonely. Lonely is a beautiful ballad piece featuring a fantastic uh, feature from Taeyoon. Uh, her beautiful, beautiful angelic voice mixes very, very well with Jong Hyun's beautiful, beautiful angelic voice. Overall, it's not my favourite song on the album, actually. It's a little bit too slow, it's a little bit too melodic for me. You know, I, I, I personally prefer sort of a faster, more upbeat R&B style type of song. However, the instrumental on this is gorgeous, I love the piano. And it really is just a beautiful, beautiful song, and I can see why so many people did love it and they appreciate the Taeyoon feature as well, you know, two megastars uh, making a song together is all, always, always really nice. The second track on this album is 1000, which features a plucky acoustic guitar intro from Jong Yoon and uh, also some really, really nice um, spacious vocals. It's slightly more poppy in flavour than Lonely is. The introduction of strings halfway through the song just sort of perks it back up to life because it was getting a little bit too uh, boring and, and, and repetitious, is that even a word? Anyway, the strings it livened it up, gave it some flavour. Not the strongest song on the album, but I did really enjoy it. The third track is a fantastic song. This is Just Chill. The intro to it uh, is, is, it's so obvious what this song will be like. They bring in the keyboard and you're just like, this is definitely going to be like a hardcore sort of pop song. However, there are some sort of soul, neo-soul influences in there. And it sounds a lot like Sober by Childish Gambino. Not in tune, but like an instrument used and the way Jong Hyun is singing. Jong Hyun's vocals on this are just phenomenal. And I actually really, really like the chorus as well. The instrumental is super super atmospheric and those strings though. At this point in the album review I think it's important to note how different all the genres for the first three songs have been. Just like you get the ballad, you get the more sort of uh, poppy uh, song and then you get the neo soul. The fourth track is Love It Is So Nice. It starts off like it's going to be sort of a ballady piece with some piano. There's also some strings, but then they introduce this percussion and it gives it an R&B vibe and I really, really appreciate that. The drums kick in at about 45 seconds in and it just ups the ante, gives it some energy, gives it some oomph. Once again, the chorus is glorious and the smoothness of Drunken's vocals really matches the tune and feel of the song. It's a great vibe. The fifth track on the album is Blinking Game. The piano lead is great, but they quickly introduce this sort of bass guitar and these jazzy drums. The whole song is sort of jazzy, solely, almost sort of like 1940s style. It actually reminds me a little bit of some Michael Bublé songs. Not that I listen to him all that much, but it just does remind me of some of his music that I've heard. I love the risk taken here because it's very different to the rest of the songs on the album, but I like the blending of genres and, and the fun he had with this song. And it works out really, really well producing another great song on this album. The next song on this album is Elevated. Not my absolute favourite song on the album, but it's a beautiful, beautiful ballad piece with some just fantastic, fantastic vocals. Some of the best notes on the whole album are being hit on this song. The strings and piano blending in the instrumental is gorgeous. The way they're interwoven sounds fantastic. It's so emphatic and, and, and powerful that I think those are the best words to describe this. And now, Let Me Out, which is a personal favorite of mine on this album. It's so exciting, it's so different, it's so bizarre, it's messy, I love it. You know, it's upbeat, it's got a catchy chorus, it's got some weird instruments in this instrumental. I I love the use of a box as the main line beat and the strings use in this once again is genius the way Jonghyun uses it to sort of uh, interweave a song where at the beginning it doesn't sound like there's there's going to be much to it and then they suddenly bring in the strings and it's so much more powerful and like there's this whole shape to it it's brilliant. The use of ad libs in the background is very effective as is the voice alter where Jonghyun uses at some points during this song. I actually really really appreciate that for once. I usually hate it. I usually hate any voice altering but in this song it works. If I had to pin a genre on this, I would say it's Neo Soul once again, but it, it's so hard to pin down what this song is. I love it though. And skip to three minutes in to hear the best note on this entire album. The eighth track on this album is Fireplace. The introduction is flavoured with this uh, hollow drum set and a very catchy vocal performance. The soft and slow style of this song really sort of contrasts the upbeatness and glory of the last song. The chorus is super duper atmospheric. The 
notes are, are very low and, and soft. In terms of all the songs on the album, this is the one that ha is is of least note. I don't dislike it, but it is it's not there's not really much to it. For me, what this song shows is Jung Hyun's ability at, at sort of changing his style up and, and his uh, songwriting ability. It just shows how good he is at it. You know, this is a very different song to the to a lot of the rest of the album and it has, he has so much variety. He's a very talented dude, that's that's, that's all I'm gonna say right now. You know, at the, at the end of this song there's this sort of like whispery rap-esque outro that I, I just really enjoy. It's different and I love it. And the final song is Our Season. This is what I would call a creative masterpiece. This is beautiful keyboard instrumental that doesn't really liven up until sort of the two minute and 40 mark where they sort of introduce these glorious hi-hats. I love hi-hats. They, their use in a song always impresses me because they're, they're, they're something that is so often ignored but they're so important. And Jong Hyun's vocal performance on this song is so nice. It's so sweet. I just love it. It's a great way to end the album off this song and and once again like Fireplace this is really a true showing of Jong Hyun's uh, song writing ability. Overall this is a great album. There's not a single song I dislike which is incredibly rare for me. On nearly every album I can think of there's at least one song where I'm like I just really don't like that song. I'm going to skip this. On this album, there's there's not one I would skip, I don't think. It's a fantastic all-round vocal performance from Jong Hyun. Uh, I really, really like his voice, but there's so much variety there. I feel like he could do a different genre with every song. And he's getting better and better at choosing which songs to put on an album. I think that was his biggest flaw with She Is. Some of the songs just didn't really fit in, or I, I just didn't really like them enough. I'm like, why has he put this on the album? If, if he took this one off and that one off, maybe this album would just be completely amazing and I think he did really well with this song excuse the burp midway through there uh, he did really well for this he selected nine tracks for the digital copy and all of them are good I'm really looking forward to hearing the tenth one I don't know when I'm gonna be able to hear that because that's only on the physical copy but I am definitely looking forward to it there was some really really great instrumental work on this album I love the acoustic instrumentals when they're used and the extreme lack of any electronic sounds is so appreciated in a music industry that is just so goddamn saturated with electronic sounds and synths and stuff like that. I really like an album like this where it's pure and uh, unedited glory. And when I say unedited, I mean like there's there's no like loops and stuff like that. Anyway, for the first time ever on the Gino channel, I am giving this album a 9 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching. This is going to be Gino signing out. See you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did, you might want to follow me on my social media. It's got my Twitter, my two Instagrams because I'm a narcissist. And uh, yeah, you can also support me on Patreon. Great way of making sure this channel stays up and running. Or you can watch my video that's there and subscribe to my other channel. Cool, cool.